If you are here with me right now, thank you. My stream cut out. I'm gonna try to see if I can email everybody really quick. So if you were back with me from the previous stream, thanks for finding me and my apologies. Um, I just emailed everybody, so hopefully they will also show up soon. This happened to me the last time I tried to do something, so I probably should have just picked a different platform, but you live and learn, I guess. So I apologize for that. Um, I'm just gonna give it another minute or two just to see if anybody joins us. All right, so I don't know if they will join us or not. I guess we will see. Um, so um, what you wanna do um, after you do your math um, is start on the, pay the fold that you have uh, figured out that you are supposed to start on. Um, take your ruler make sure you're looking at your book at the right page so it's on top. So kind of like this is how it's in front of me. <clears throat> the right page is on top. You're gonna put it right across the top so you have just a little bit of an edge there. You're gonna match up your first line there on your ruler with the edge of the top of the book. And then on your pumpkin instructions, you're gonna start with, so this kind of just looks like a bunch of numbers. Um, so each, there's gonna be 244 folds that you're using. Um, so that's essentially 244 steps. Um, so number one says 11.0 and 13.2. Um, so the 11 is centimeters. Um, after the point is gonna be the millimeter marker, so that's in between the centimeters. Um, so you're gonna find where 11 centimeters is on your ruler, and then just make a little line for you there, so just a marker. Mark two is gonna be at 13 centimeters and two uh, millimeters, so just find where that is, 13, one, two, make a little line for yourself there. So that's just marking where you have to fold. So then you're gonna um, make your first fold. You're gonna be folding the page twice, once on the top, once on the bottom. So um, as much as you can, try to make it a uh, 90 degree angle fold. 
Um, when it starts to get kind of farther away from the edge, it's gonna be hard to do that, um, but as much as you can. So right now this shouldn't be a problem. So you're just going to kind of, as best as you can, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, mine certainly weren't, um, it'll still look amazing. Um, so yes, so you're gonna make your first fold um, at that first line. So the top of the corner is gonna meet um, where your first line is. Your second fold is gonna meet that second mark. And then you're just gonna kind of make a nice fold. Um, fold it as flat as you can. So that's kind of what your first one is gonna look like. And that's basically what you're gonna keep doing 244 times. Um, again, if you were able to print out your instructions, you can just mark it off as you go so you don't get confused. Um, normally what I do is mark it, fold it, and then, you know, check it off. But um, whatever is easiest for you. Let's see, somebody has emailed me. Just want to make sure that they can get back to where we are. Bear with me again. I apologize. All right, so um, hopefully the other people who are here can join us too. Um, if you have questions, please let me know in the chat. I know we might be at some different points here. Um, all right, so you did your first one. Again, you would just kind of keep going. Um, so my second mark is going to be at 10 centimeters, 6 millimeters. So you're going to line up your ruler. Your first line here is going to be at the edge, um, meeting the top of your page here. Chris, yes. Okay, thanks for being here. Um, all right, so what you're going to do, you're going to find your fold where you're starting, which I think is where we cut off. Um, and then when you're looking at your book, um, normally you're just going to tilt it so the top is going to be the right side of the book. So this is how you're looking at it. Um, so you just kind of put that down in front of you. The right side is on the top. You're gonna grab your ruler. You're gonna line it up to the right side of that edge, which is now on the top. Um, you're gonna find that first mark and line it up to the top or now the left side of the book. Leave just a little bit of an edge here so you can make a pencil mark. And if you have your pumpkin instructions either, you know, on your computer or in front of you printed out, um, you'll see that you have mark one, mark two. Um, and there's, it kind of just looks like a bunch of numbers, but um, the 11 is centimeters. The point after the point is going to be the millimeter lines. So you'll see that mark one is 11 centimeters even. So you're just going to find that and make a little mark for yourself there. Mark two is 13.2. So you're gonna go to 13 centimeters and then over two millimeters. Make a mark for yourself there at the top. So you'll have two little lines there and those are just to show you where you're folding. So it's just a guide for yourself basically. Um, so then from there, um, you'll be folding Try to fold at a 90 degree angle as much as you can. Once you get farther along and the line, um, and it depends on how like small you are as well, um, you might not be able to do it, but as best as you can. And then if you're kind of over, that's okay. So you'll make your first fold. You're going to mark it up to the line here. That's where the little point is gonna be on your little triangle here. Just fold it over to meet that. The other side, just do the same thing. Just fold it over to your mark. And that's your first fold. So basically that's what you're gonna keep doing 244 times. Um, again, it is tedious. It's not very difficult. Um, it kind of becomes like a little soothing product project to do too. It's just very repetitive. 
Um, and worth it because it, the one that I have almost finished is really cute. And I had to keep stopping and starting when making this just because, you know, life. Um, but probably will take you about an hour and a half total, maybe less, maybe more, depending on your speed. Um, but it's really cute. Um, I'm going to kind of keep doing them just in case anyone is confused. Um, so if you were able to print this out, you can just check it off. Um, so you don't get confused. Again, you'll get confused if you are multitasking, if you're like talking to somebody else, you might lose your place. Um, that's why it's helpful. But if you don't have access to a computer, um, you can just, you know, do the little tick marks and then, um, you know, with the striking through once you get to five, that might help you as well. Um, you can always count how many you've done, but again, there are a lot of uh, folds that you'll have to do. Um, so, but you can do it without, it's not, it's not a big deal. Um, so you'll see your second one um, is gonna be 10.6 is the first one. Again, you're going to uh, put your first line up against the top or now the left side of the book and find 10.6. So 10 centimeters and uh, six millimeters. Make a little mark for yourself. The next one is 13.6. Uh, Again, make a mark for yourself there. So those are your two marks. You're just gonna be folding down to each one. So again, you'll have um, some triangle looking things here. If you have a binder clip handy, I just say that because you can always just like clip them down as you go and that'll kind of keep them from flipping up at you. Um, but again, not necessary. You don't have to do that if you don't have access to that. Um, so yeah, you just keep folding, um, folding and marking. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, hopefully it's kind of relaxing and fun as well. Um, and then you'll have some really cute bookish decor for yourself. Um, like I said, in the instructions that I sent you, um, in the basic instructions at the end of that, there's one for a heart. And that one only has 45 um, folds that you're doing. So um, much less work. It does look really, really cute. I made one of those um, both in person on campus and through one of these. Um, and it was really fun. I used a different pattern, but it's super cute. Um, so you also have that one to do if you wanted to do another one. Um, if you have any questions, please just put it in the chat. Um, and yeah, I'm glad that you guys were here with me. Um, I'm going to hang out for a bit longer and try to finish up my other one. This one that I'm almost finished with, I'm about 40 pages away. Add it to my fall home decor. I'm very excited. Um, since I can't do anything without a shameless plug, I'm going to talk up a few things as I hang out as well. Um, if you are interested in doing a trivia night with me, um, and student activities office. Um, I'd be happy to have you with us. Um, so the next one that we're going to be doing is Stranger Things trivia. So if you know Stranger Things, if you like Stranger Things, um, that's going to be on Friday, November 13th at seven o'clock. Um, it's free. It's open to anyone, um, you know, CHC community or not. Um, you can play solo. You can play with your friends. Um, there's going to be prizes of Chestnut Hill College swag and also a $30 Visa gift card. Um, it's played through Kahoot and Zoom. It gets pretty competitive and fun. We've done a Hamilton one in September, and we just did a Harry Potter one. Um, I think it was last Friday, actually. Um, and they were both really, really fun. Um, I'm going to throw the link to that in the chat. Um, so you can register for that if you're interested. It's going to be probably our last event for the semester. Um, 
but yeah, just a, just a way to kind of connect when people can't really connect too much at this time. Um, just something fun to do. So for my almost completed one, I'm on step 207. And you'll see as you keep going that, um, you know, there's really big ones, there's smaller, really, really small ones that get kind of hard to fold, but you'll be fine. Um, here's an example of one where I couldn't make a 90 degree fold and you'll kind of get some overlap into your crease here. Um, it's just gonna kind of make it puffier, but it's okay. If I had any binder clips, it would be really helpful at this point to kind of keep it out of my way, but it's okay. Another plug that I'm going to make that I've been making all semester to everyone and anyone is just a reminder to get out there and vote. Um, super important to do your civic duty. Um, you know, totally a nonpartisan um, shout out, but you know, get out there and do the thing. Um, you can request a mail-in ballot. Usually at this point still, some, some states are different. Um, and you can vote early in person as well. Um, you can also drop off your mail-in ballot if you don't want to stick it in the mail. Um, you can find out who's on your ballot as well if you're not sure. Um, I'm just going to stick that information in the chat as well. All right, let's see. We've got some chat questions. Um, printed the sheets with the fold mark numbers. Awesome. Um, do you start folding at 244? Okay. So that is kind of the sort of confusing part at the beginning that you have to do. You have to do just a little bit of math, Patricia. Um, so I'm going to explain that again for you. All right. So what you'll have to do is, um, so 244 is the number of, uh, folds. So it's confusing because you're folding and also a sheet of paper is called a fold. Um, each side is called a page, but the entire thing is called a fold. So um, this pattern takes up 244 folds. Um, so essentially uh, a sheet of paper, 244 sheets of paper. Um, so find out how many numbered pages you have in your book. Um, so for example, this book has 246, but then you're also going to have some unnumbered pages at the beginning and the end of your book. So you just have to add those to your total number. Um, so a page again is back and front. So like one and two. So find your total number. Um, so my number is 246. And then I would just kind of keep counting uh, 47, 48 whatever's in the front, add those to it. So my total um, is 550. So that's basically my starting number of pages. So from there, you wanna find out how many folds you have. So again, just sheet of paper. So it's just gonna be half of that number. So you're just gonna divide your number by two. So my total number of pages is 550 divided by two. So that's 275 folds, sheets of paper. So then you're gonna take that number and subtract 244 from that. Again, 244 is how many folds you need for the pattern. So from there, I got 31. You can round it up to make it easier if you'd like. 
or round down, whatever, whatever you want to do. It's, it's just to make it centered basically um, in your book. So um, I'm just going to say about 30 um, divided by two. We're dividing by two because we want to find how many um, in the front and the back, basically. Um, so my number of 32 is how many folds that we don't need for the pattern. Dividing by two is just going to tell me how many in the front and then how many in the back. So 15 is where I'm going to start. So then from there, you would just kind of count inward. If you have a very large book, you're going to have to do a lot of counting to get to that number. Um, if it's kind of close to how many folds you need, you're not going to do too much. So um, like mine's kind of close. So I would just have to count 15. So 15 um, folds, so sheets of paper. So I would have to count 15 sheets of paper in, and I'd be starting on that 15th one. Oh, yes, actually 16th one. I'm sorry. So count 15 in, start on the next one. So whatever your number is. And if this is confusing, which it totally confused me and it confuses other people um, when you're first starting, you can just let me know um, how many total pages you have and then I can figure out the math for you of where to start. And if anybody has any other questions, please let me know as well. Questions could be about, you know, anything, any step that you missed or anything you're confused about. I'm totally here for it. If you want to tell me where you are making a pumpkin from right now, you can put that in the chat as well. I am in Abington, which is... 20 minutes away from Chestnut Hill College campus. I do a bit more folding and hang out for a bit um, in case anybody has any questions, if anyone's confused. Um, since we had a bit of technical difficulties, I am going to um, just create like a whole nother quick um, tutorial video and just like send it out to everybody. Um, because unfortunately mine, uh, my stream crashed. So I want to make sure that everybody's able to, um, you know, get it. Like I said, I've made um, a heart version of this before and it came out really cute and you'll have the opportunity to do that with the instructions that I sent you. Um, I tried both a um, paper flower um, tutorial workshop uh, a few weeks ago and that is when the same thing happened to me, but I was actually just sitting there for 45 minutes thinking that I was um, live and recording, but it only um, captured four minutes of that. Um, and I didn't find that out until I was finished. So um, technology definitely is not on my side, um, but this is what those look like and they're pretty cute. I hope to make another video and upload it to YouTube about that. Um, they're pretty cute. Basically, you just like cut them out into a spiral um, and then hot glue them. 
you can just hot glue it to itself or you can stick it on like a little wire stem if you want to. Um, so that was pretty fun to make. I also made these a while back. These are from 2013. These are actually my, this is my wedding bouquet that I made out of flowers. Um, these are from Edgar Allan Poe stories. And uh, one of the colors was purple. So I kind of painted them a little bit purple. So pretty fun. I like to make things out of used books. Um, I am a librarian, so I definitely do love books. Um, I used to have a little side business. I love to do this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, again, if you have any questions at all, you can just shout it out in the chat. In the meantime, I'm also going to throw our social media links up, tips and announcements, but also um, you'll get to know of any fun events that we do this way. And if they're open to um, the public or uh, the CHC community, I'm, I'm sorry, or uh, yes, the public or the CHC community, um, et cetera. Um, so we have a Facebook page and Instagram are the two that we normally use the most. Through those in the chat as well, please follow us. Um, here on our YouTube channel, we also have um, some videos up that might help you if you are student faculty or staff um, of Chestnut Hill College. Um, and also just some fun stuff as well. There's some recipes that we did for an event. Um, there's a really cute uh, pet show and tell that we did for another event. Um, so definitely check that out as well. And I'm you. You might have this already if you received an email from me. Uh, but if not, I'm just going to throw it in the chat as well. Um, my email, so it's liberonak at chc.edu. So you can always follow up with me um, if you need help. Again, I'm going to try to um, send a tutorial video around. Um, just let me know if you have any questions or get confused. Um, All right, so I am going to hop off since it's just you guys folding away. Um, but before I go, please let me know in the chat if you need any further guidance at this time. If you're confused, if I can do anything to help, just let me know. Let me give it a minute. All right, looks like everybody is good. Again, if you're not, you can also just email me. Um, once you finish, I'd love to see a picture if you wanted to email me or tag us on Instagram, Facebook. Um, I'd really love to see how yours turns out. Um, I know it's gonna be really, really cute. Thank you, Chris. Thanks everybody for being here and for bearing with my technical difficulties. Um, I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.